We're here today uh, to uh, film her uh, separating an Oreo. So we came up with this idea to have different machines, builders, roboticists, uh, separate the Oreo into their favorite party, into the cookie and the cream. And one of the immediate go-tos was Carnegie Mellon University's Herb, which is a perfect choice because he's He's a robot butler. We really are focusing on trying to get her to do the kinds of tasks that a caregiver would perform for you in the home. Right? That's the goal. And we're developing technologies that can enable her to do that. But really, uh, it's, it's quite fascinating that we can take those technologies that, that are so useful and very quickly adapt them for something as fun as separating the cookies and the cream from the Oreo. <laughs> Does her always do what we tell them to do? Uh, no. Herb, Herb rarely does what we tell him to do. How do you feel about Herb's success? I'm jealous. I think um, you know, he's getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of people walking by. Um, maybe they realize that it's about me, but uh, I'm not so sure yet. You know, I, I feel more like a parent, but there's a little bit of sibling rivalry here. I, I don't know. I have to see how successful he is. It's nice that he's failing a few times. Well, it's actually been a real challenge to get her to do the Oreo task. Interestingly, it's one of the smallest objects that we've actually ever manipulated with Herb. And so Herb has been having a really exciting time finding ways to pick up Oreos and separate Oreos because they're so small and delicate in comparison to packaged goods and large utensils and things that we've been typically focusing on. It's kind it's of a prima donna. Do you have any advice for him as he continues his career? Stay humble. Stay humble. You know, I'm sure Herb's going to go out in the world and do a lot of things, but, you know, Daddy should never forget where he came from. Stay true to your school. Yeah.